This is my weed whacker powered motorized bicycle. It only is 22 cc's. I had to modify the carb to make it burn a little bit more fuel to you know handle the extra power. It was bogging out. That was just scratching the jets with a pin. It's an Echo weed eater motor. The whole bike only weighs about two and a half pounds more than the original bike. So I can pick it up with one finger and put it right over my head. One finger. See? No problem one hand. I mean one finger. I bought a little 11 2 sprocket put where the output shaft used to be. Where the output shaft used to be I put a small bearing in there and made a small little sub shaft that went into the square drive of the little clutch that's in there. The rest of the bike is unmodified except for a badass bicycle seat from an exercise bicycle. Where the crank used to be, there's now a big sprocket on the left side, a small sprocket on the right side, and a big sprocket on the rear. The final drive ratio to get the right RPM through the rear wheel for the 7000 RPM motor is 13 and a half to 1. This makes this little bike go 25 miles an hour or about 35 kilometers an hour and gets about 250 miles a gallon. You can lay it on its side. These kind of engines have an all position carburetor. No gas runs out or it doesn't flood. Mounted between the handlebars is the Cumpsy Lawnmower Engine gas tank. I modified an extra brake lever and shortened it. That's the throttle. Over here is the kill button. It still has a coaster rear wheel. So if you see a cop, you just push the kill and coast. Easy as that. Let's start her up. like a dream. Doesn't hurt it at all to lay it down. When I'm in a high-speed police chase with it, I just head for the nearest chain link fence or even six-footer. Just pick it up with one hand, toss it over, jump the fence, and keep on riding. Keeps running even laying on its side with that all-position carburetor. Cops have never got me yet. <laughs> 